you know, black folks, and j I'm just looking at this for the first time right now, too, but uh, I did recall there was someone that was, one of the talk groups was basically, but, and I hope that there's nothing wrong up there. There shouldn't be, though, because basically they had a 7.6, 7.3, 7.0, 7.1 last fall uh right around thanksgiving before thanksgiving uh somewhere between fuka fudge up all the way through 2011 okay they had a lot of big quakes up there it takes pretty much an eight point something to make where they had and they they did have like an eight point something that was kind of scientists have always kind of argued that they figured it probably was a nine or something that basically there was some lives lost i think it was in anchorage or something like that back in the 50 something 57 or something like that. You have to go look it up. So basically, we hope all of our f uh, everything up in Alaska is doing okay. Okay. And then uh, Baja had 3.0. And you see the times, and that's military time, and it's UTC, Zulu time, witch time, and uh, green witch time. You don't want to see a green witch. Because that's Zulu. And you don't want to see the Zulu clock start ticking because that's Magic Mountain. And you don't want to see the lights go on everywhere. Okay? So, basically, a lot of anybody new watching the uh, volcanoes and the earthquake action, this is somewhat steady higher. Uh, we used to see a lot of stuff sitting around 2. Now you see stuff, everything up at 3 and above. Okay? So, it's just going to keep on. Keep on, keep on, keep on, and go watch all my videos, and you will see tons of information about that they don't want you to know about that's going on with volcanoes and earthquakes around the world. Okay? Uh, I've got a video uploading right now. YouTube's got some uh, upload issues with their actual windows. Someone needs to tell YouTube about that. If you've got YouTube and you're trying to upload, you should tell them. I figured a way out to go in another back door to get in uploaded, so I do have a video uploading. Their windows are having problems. Uh, their legal things. This is a telephone call, ladies and gentlemen. Everything on the internet is a phone line. The FCC and the news networks and power, money, and control with propaganda and uh, everything on that boob tube. Uh, they're trying to buy in, and they pretty much probably do own a ton of stuff without saying that they actually own certain sites because eventually they'll be trying to brainwash you and propaganda you on some kind of internet site somewhere, and they don't want you to know that they own it. So the same money that owns the TV networks, uh, they've been trying to buy in and everything like that. But the, the technical issue that they have the problem with is the idea that when you are getting your, you pay for your internet service, and the internet companies, they don't want to go out of business, and they're going to make their money. So power money control is going to win because they're making more money selling you internet access than they are you watching the boob tube because hardly anybody watches the boob tube anymore, okay? So, and uh, there was some heavy activity over in Russia, uh, and now we seem to be getting it just about everywhere, five-point quakes. Okay, so we're building up, and it's just going to keep on for quite a few years. I'm really believing 2016 is the first time we will see anything of a downturn, of a lull of earthquakes around the world and volcanoes. And yes, folks, 2016, okay? At least 2016. This is going to keep on keep it on and it might go for a lull between now and then but there is not going to be a complete back to what you would normally f figure in history in the last 150 years uh, probably for a good many years this is going to keep building okay the sun is in the supergiants and the supergiants are massive and there are suns that are four to seventy eight times the size of the sun and they are all our stars and there's pole uh, the, everybody's trying to put their little uh, stars are stars, and they have they call them polar stars, uh, polarized. Uh, there's all kinds of technicals uh, you call, it, and they they have asteroids and comets, and then you try to differentiate when they're pulling bullshit off from that because anything bright that's in the sky is a star, and then it gets disseminated from size. Okay, so you have comets and meteorites and asteroids, and they all have different sizes, and all the scientists and uh, experts can name whatever they want to name what. Something is an object in the sky. It's not a UFO because usually uh, NASA JPL has gotten onto anything that's a large object in space, anything bigger than basically uh, a meter, and they know where it's at. 
they watch all kinds of stuff out there in space, and they have all kinds of people at telescopes all around the world helping them do that. Okay, so let's go to some more data, and this will show you. And basically, when everybody doesn't realize that they know that it's the sun and energy from the sun and so forth and so on, let me show you Shell. And that is exactly what you see to be it is, okay? And basically the sun, yes, that's why they give you those spheres when you hit shell, makes the earth, just like when your, sun, when your skin gets dried and cracked from the sun, well, the earth, the dirt, and the soil, and the magma of earth, it's the same doggone thing. And the volcanoes with the special minerals in it and so forth in certain areas of the world, that's why there's special minerals there, and then when the sun heats them up, they go favamo. It's not a wizard throwing little uh, sulfur balls down into uh, some make-believe uh, propagated movie set of a volcano blowing up, folks. The earth and the volcanoes are very active right now, and the sun is very active. In the sun, in the suns, in the supergiant's main sequence out in space. It's very bright. Let me go take you some pictures of that. Anyway, just recently listening, and then they try to make the gap look a little bit bigger. That the idea there, because they heard what I say. Once I make a video, NASA does a little bit different little tweak with their pictures. And we like it, because now we get to see a little bit more. Okay? Super giants exist, ladies and gentlemen. There are 100 suns, 101 if you conclude the sun, and the sun is in the super giants main sequence. That makes over 101, and there are way more than, there's almost like 300 or more stars, but there's a hundred that are brighter than the sun and are four to seventy eight times the size of the sun in the supergiant's main sequence, okay? Uh, I've got my website on my page at YouTube also that you go to and you'll find out about other stuff on Earth that basically you should be contending with also. And here you get a nice action if everybody's been paying attention to watching these pictures before you get nice CME action here. Yes, the satellites can shoot from a different camera on the satellite and it's not guaranteed that this is the well on this shot. And also, it possibly can be the well. Remember, take this and print it out on a color copier and roll it up in a tube. And then you can see that you're looking from Earth or any planet that you see marked from a goldfish bowl, ladies and gentlemen. Because space is a gigantic, infinite almost, and probably pretty much infinite, goldfish bowl. So when this camera takes a shot, it can only shoot as far as that lens will capture. Okay? You roll it up because we're all in a circle around the supergiants and the sun here in the well, which should be here, and this is CME action, no matter what, folks. So it's either coming from the sun, roll it up like a piece of paper, or to make a little tube and then take a flashlight and look in there. Okay, and then you'll get an idea of everything, like if you're sitting in space looking at all these shots, okay? Because this is a CME action. And let me show you also, we got a video that we can go to. Okay, we have this. Let me queue up. Okay, the largest hit of a CME, which is a coronal mass ejection off the sun, has been El Anbar, Iraq. And I don't know when exactly it ever happened, but... Since I am in here, I was able to, and I can't even move, so they don't like to show in the information on that. I think I've got the data on that on another deal. Let me refresh this. Okay, and the Brits give us good shots on everything like that, but the, the one thing that the Brits have, and even anybody that's pretty much British uh, blue collar will tell you that, yeah, propaganda, propaganda. So anyway, this is a British tabloid, okay? But at least... They're saying that, so then NASA needs to either counteract that or say that that is the truth, okay? Next year, because this is a 2012 article, okay? Now, basically, I want to show you this. This is the current sky chart. So, basically, you'll see they got Venus, because basically, Venus is getting a nice CME action from the supergiants in the sun, okay? It's not, this is not uh, Soho's worth idea of what makes it look, well, they will say that it looks bigger, too, because it's pretty much getting a hell of a glow from CME action, basically a coronal mass ejection reactive atmospheric of Venus flare is what you're getting, and we we'll, should be able to go to the movie, and I didn't click that like that, and yes, the new software that they are bleeding out that they'll take a screenshot of your information on YouTube, they've done that because the bleed is coming of the truth of the idea that SCADA, which is supervisory con control and, and data acquisition, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
the black box has the ability to do that on your computer when you are searching the internet. That's why all the link share information on Google, okay? And basically it's a bunch of legal BS because this is a private phone call, ladies and gentlemen. That's correct. This is all done over a telephone line in the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen, around the world, the internet, okay? There are issues going on, ladies and gentlemen, legal issues. They are going to have problems explaining themselves. Now, in case I can't get this movie to play, you can see this in my last upload. Uh, the upload should be complete pretty soon. And basically, you're going to crap your pants on seeing what Venus is having to put up with right now with the sun. And also, let's just show you how close that CME action is. And basically, hitting, uh, we, we have CME action going to hit the Earth, ladies and gentlemen, from this M class. Uh, my video will upload and it will show you that this CME is hitting Earth. And let me see if I can get up here. Now they have this locking up on me also. So the love is getting shared, ladies and gentlemen, all around the Internet today, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. And now there, there, there's the one excuse at the idea that it could be uh, partly to do with the CMEs. Okay. Uh, I didn't think I got up here enough to see that M class in the last one to let you know that, yeah, the M class unsettled. Basically, they should say M class flare forget unsettled they should have another degree to go to or something like that there now this is a private you know they do what they do and we love what I love their information but they, they basically use all the data that you can basically go to uh, government agencies if we pay our tax dollars and get this stuff okay they propagate it here and have it. they have a nice very nice because it makes it easy for us to go and look at this stuff okay so we got a CME coming in hitting earth more than likely starting today if you watch the dates and if you watch my previous videos I was showing you that it was coming and you got the three, you got to watch it really because they have a playing fast. When that three right here, that'll be the third month. Okay, there you go. And then the one, two, and three. And finally had that slow down. That's the first time I've ever had to do that before. I guess maybe somebody from Solar Artists will probably complain. It's like, what's he talking about? Because the idea we don't, and now all of a sudden, maybe Kerasoft or whatever had to decide, it's like, well, it's better slow it down. Wink, wink. They keep us all nice and safe, ladies and gentlemen. The black boxes of America. They listen to everything, which is good. You don't want any terrorists. So anyway, this shot shows you that CME action. Because if anybody's been looking at these before, this brightness here, this is CME action. So roll, like I've said, roll this thing up in a tube or something. Let me see the other shot. So they got this shot too. So let's go ahead and take a, a look in and zoom in on Earth here. Now I had that video lock up. Let me see if I can zoom in on Venus here first. And then we'll go back to the Earth and zoom in on that. A little glitch action. And as we pretty much know, we probably figured that this is Pleiades back over here. Or that 1446, that IC 1446 uh, galaxy. Okay? So anyway, cookies, you do have that there. And you know it's not Mars, what they have donated there. Okay? And uh, I don't know how to say it, the Chinese write Hunan. Uh, province or something like that. It basically is where an ancient uh, scripture basically of astronomical uh, figures were wrote down and astronomers have used those figures for years, some of them. And basically it shows what they've always kind of shown. But now, since there's a lot of galaxies out there that look the same somewhat when they're swirling, it's hard to know what is what. But they did make observations of them years ago. The Hunan, I think I'm hoping I'm saying it right, and I've showed some of the information of it before their drawings. Because you can see the swirl, you can see that, and that. But are those just fast-moving planets and fast-moving star action? As we know that the down in Brazil, they found that one that's 300 times rotation faster than the sun. And NASA just said it was 100. So anyway, and there's lots of stars out there that are rotating fast, i.e. the volcanoes. So no matter what, you got this CME action that's coming towards us, okay? And this interesting up there. Probably just end this video with this, and you should have seen this in the last video anyway, but there's Venus getting its CME, which is not an inner camera flare. It is a CME reactive to a CME, and it's an atmosphere CME to the CME mass coronal ejections of the sun. As you see, Venus is there by the sun, and I will show you a map on that, and also Mercury should be getting more of a brunt than Venus right now, So, because Mercury should be closer, I believe. But no matter what, almost in perfect timing, as you've seen, watch those other last half dozen videos I have, and you'll see that basically it wasn't just the sun doing that flare, because the sun was making the Venus do that big old flare that it's doing. 
a coronal mass ejection atmospheric flare 